I am um, I am a home-based worker, a mother of seven. I started my work as a community leader way back 1989. Uh, work with the Patamaba, the National Network of Informal Workers in the Philippines. Uh, likewise, in the community in 2000, well, I, I just formally formed the economic arm of Patamaba, which is what uh, we named Patamaba Workers in the Informal Sector Enterprise. Sir, uh, okay. Hey. Okay, so next slide, please. So this is my, uh, my community base, my, my uh, home base. WISE is an economic arm of Patamaba Rizal, which was organized in 2009. But Patamaba National was organized in 1989 with more than 20,000 nationwide membership. But my own organization, my base organization, has a primary members of 135. Look at the numbers, 127 female and 8 male, either as we call an investor or worker. We do have also an affiliate members who are under our organization and the Department of Labor and Employment Child Labor Program. And then 67 members of the WISE from 135 were into home-based production, home cares, housewares, decors, and among others. And our initial investment came from the primary members at 200 peso per each, uh, that is $4,000 for, for, for other country. Next slide, please. So these are some of our product produced by the, by the organization, the organization who run and manage. Next slide, please. So Patamaba is affiliated to a bigger national organization, which is the National uh, Network of Informal Workers in the Philippines, the National Patamaba, the Home Net Philippines, and of course, we are also affiliated to the uh, big organization of women, the National Council of Women in the Philippines. Next slide. Next slide. Patamaba Wise also represent in the NAPSIWIS, National Anti-Poverty Commission, the Calabarzon Regional Women Council, the Rizal Provincial Local Council of Women, Rizal uh, Micro, Small and Medium Enterprise Development Council, the Angono Rizal Municipal Development Council, and the Angono Gender and Development Focal Point System. So as to informal sector's issues, still our issues, the statistics, participation, and representation, improved access to productive resources, and improved access to social security. So next slide will show you our governance framework on how do we work on our uh, se uh, agenda, sectoral agenda. So we have this social security, human development services, asset reform, participation in governance and employment. So in, 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 uh, in a small word, it is shape, no? Where we have the members doing the organizing and monitoring, advocacy and policies program, awareness raising, and of course, we're really much into participatory decision making. Next slide. So this is the solidarity initiative from the ground up, no? So next slide, please. Yes, that, that's mostly done by women. So actually, uh, we have this, I think there is one slide that will say that uh, the entrepreneurship and social solidarity economy is our way out um, against uh, immense poverty, no? way out in, 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 of course, in the issue of poverty. Next slide. So. What is the convergence area for entrepreneurship and social and solidarity economy? So we have the enterprise, we have uh, agencies from the national, uh, the, the different stakeholders from the CSO, trade unions, private sector, and the local government unit. The, where that's the the convergence of uh, for our entrepreneurship and social solidarity economy. Next slide. The organization is really practicing the, the, uh, the, the entrepreneurship model, which we have center satellite to production, where the satellites are the various uh, areas, cluster member of the organization. Why we, we do it like this? Because 
of course of the many advantages na we can uh, we can gain out of having a social enterprise or a group enterprise uh, in that manner next slide so i want to connect with the uh, sse uh, principle given to us by sir ben no uh, for ss number 1 fair legal framework we are registered as rural workers and we renew uh, yearly renew our business permit and the local government units for participation the organization runs mostly by women and we include our type of workers in the informal economy or informal sector so uh, uh, in for equity and inclusiveness we have equal share in investment members can be investor likewise can be a workers for transparency, we are doing regular reporting and updating records and report, reports also open to members. And accountability, compliance with requirements of the national uh, uh, government agencies such as BIR, LGU. All members are accountable to the organization. Next slide. For dimension two, the edifying ethical values. When we see compassion, because we recognize and consider one's differences. And we understand common problem, especially to women, uh, to women in distress, because uh, gender-based violence also is very much on top, uh, an issue on top. Justice, we deliver based on fairness and consideration. The people and planet over profit, sustainability, inclusiveness. We respect individuality, differences, working together, and work towards creating wealth and socially be and socially be protected. The next is the solidarity cooperation and mutualism. We have this participatory governance and participatory democracy. We are both, uh, all members, both are equal. Next slide. Next slide, please. So for the three, four, and five people, we did great job. We, we augment income and we deliver social protection to the members for the planet. We are aware and trying to practice environmental conservation, green economy, and solidarity for profit, hoping towards economic and financial sustainability. Because uh, actually, the Patamaba is just small. No? And next, Patamaba was vis a vis COVID and pandemic. So, our issues in loss of income due to loss of production. So, what we did, focus to produce disinfectant cleaning home care products and face masks. Then we also shifted to produce PPEs through subcontracting arrangement. Uh, another issue, workers cannot fully absorb, we cannot fully absorb all workers. So what we did, we did on rotation basis. So our market, consumers, so because we cannot sell, uh, we cannot sell uh, really uh, as, as what we did before in the mall, in the in the department store we do online selling or in-house selling displayed at home vicinity and we do also direct selling uh by within the the neighborhood and the issue of food package to so members we did we did a fundraising campaign to buy goods for distribution to poor and marginal members i think this is my last slide next slide please Thank you and hope you had a better understanding on my presentation. Maraming salamat.